Hey, you two. Are you not really into these kinds of big social occasions? Uh, not particularly. But this is still better than Fontaine Fashion Week. <laughs> but if this film becomes a big hit, people will definitely come flocking to your shop. Yes, that's highly likely. As long as the film can premiere as planned. Are you still worried about the case? That, and all the obstacles we had to face today. Hmm, you're right. It's as if all our bad luck just manifested at once. But why today of all days? Hmm? No. No, it's nothing. We've already delivered the film to the editors, so there should be nothing more to worry about. How are you doing, Mr. Morris? You having a good time? Well, you could say that. Uh, do you happen to know when the party is scheduled to end? <laughs> Judging by how much fun everyone's having, I'd say probably not until well after midnight. Is there something that you still have to take care of at home, Mr. Morris? Oh, well, uh, I'm just not a late-night person, so I might take off shortly. Oh, no! Uh, silly me! I almost forgot something super important. Oh, uh, what is it? I prepared a whole batch of fireworks for the party, but I forgot to bring them over from the warehouse. Fireworks, you say? <laughs> That's, uh, truly a pity. Sorry things didn't go as planned. Could you help me carry them over, Mr. Morris? I won't be able to fetch all of them by myself. Me? Uh, uh, are you sure that you can't find anyone else? <laughs> I just wanted to make this surprise for everyone. The warehouse isn't far from here. We'll be there in no time. Pretty please, Mr. Morris. These are some of the best fireworks I've ever made. So I also want you to see them before you leave. They're stunning. I promise that they'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you'll never forget. Uh, but... It's okay. Just come with me. If we're sneaky enough, nobody else will see us leaving. <sighs> All right.